Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video. I have a special guest with me here today. It's uh, my baby girl, Eliana. Today, we're gonna go on the internet and I'm gonna show you where the different sites and the different pages where I usually go to keep myself updated. Let's go. Hey, welcome back. For those who don't know me, I'm back again. I'm an MRI redographer. And uh, just to let you guys know, this is no baby channel, even though I have a special guest with me here today. In my channel, I share everything from uh, basic to advanced when it comes to MRI, just like this one. And if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. You know, people have been asking me, hey, back, where do you get all the hot stuff? Where do you get to keep yourself updated? So I was thinking, hey, why not? I will share with you guys today and um, the different sites where I used to go on the internet and the social media part uh, to keep myself updated. You know what? I have a special access where I usually go to. Nah, I'm just kidding with you guys. I have the same access as you guys got. So I'm just a regular user, just like you guys. It's just that uh, being a daddy of small girls is just a matter of time for me where I need to go on directly on the different sites to keep myself updated. I don't have time to, you know, Google around and use all my time on the internet just for doing research. So I have special sites where I usually go to. And uh, let's go live on my computer. All right, let's go live at my computer. I'm just going to show you the where I usually go to find informative information and keep myself updated. There's a lot of stuff out there, different pages different sites and the first of things and I want to show you guys is Facebook in this Facebook there's a lot of groups there's a lot of people who post different kinds of stuff which is very informative and very it's kind of motivating you know so let's check uh, one person I usually follows and I find him very good in this game is Bruno he is very good in this game like I mentioned he posts a lot of cool stuff in different groups and uh, I've been talking to him and discussed with him different kinds of MR examinations. He's very humble and very a great guy. Unfortunately, I haven't met him in real life, but only on uh, social media. So I learned stuff, a lot of stuff from him. And he really keeps the fire ongoing. Another guy is uh, Norvin. He posts also a lot of cool stuff in uh, different groups and also on his uh, homepage here. So I really like this guy also. He just humble, great. And then you have uh, different groups. MRI World is one of the, uh, for me, it's one of the oldest group on Facebook here. It covers everything when it comes to MR. So uh, the moderator here is um, Greg Brown. Great, great guy, actually. I've been talk also talked to him a few things when it comes to discussion MR. Very humble. So I also recommend you guys to follow. And then you have MRI Technologist. It's run by a friend of mine, Christos. You guys probably know him already. So there's a lot of cool stuff is also posted here. Check that out whenever you've got time. Another one is uh, Imagines. I really like this guy. I also been talking to him. He's the um, very great guy who's run this uh, page. Dani Danilo? Yeah, Danilo. So check this out. And he is also online on uh, Instagram. So all these people are also on Instagram or different social media. So you can, you can find them everywhere. And then you have the Asmactic World. It's run by Christos and I. We uh, have this page up for a few years now and it's only dedicated to one vendor, which is uh, Siemens. So we're trying to uh, keep it real and be humble and uh, share tips and tricks if you're into Siemens or interested in Siemens because there are other groups out there, which is Philips related and GE related. We wanted to keep this uh, group as one vendor. And then you have 
a new just new uh, a new group which is uh, recently made Amrai Bus is also a friend of mine it's uh, Lexi and Matt the cool thing about this page is informative but there's also a home page let's check that out so it's amraibus.com all you got to do is uh, register and then log in it's all free so here you're one stop shop for MR community so I'm already logged in here and here you can do you can search for a lot of cool stuff here if you want to learn more about fMRI you can just check this out the future of understanding the brain is here there's a lot of informative stuff to find here as well alright so uh, let's jump from Facebook to LinkedIn in here you also find a lot of cool information I usually follow a few guys here one of them is uh, Carlos he posts a lot of cool stuff very good in this game as well check him out there's another Carlos here this one he has a lot of cool stuff also The cool thing about LinkedIn is that you also find different kind of person here, like uh, Dr. Dr. Catherine Westbrook. We all know who she is, right? Because she's the one behind she and John Talbot is one behind Amarin Practice, and it's very motivating and cool to see her online here. Sometimes she, you know, like posting tips and tricks and having discussion. It's really interesting to read and following because. Uh, you know, I started out with reading a book and John Talbot's uh, the first time when I started with MR, so it's pretty awesome. And she also runs a uh, different uh, MRI course uh, all around the world, MRI in practice. Really recommend you guys to participate on that one. Uh, she's been to Norway a few times. I still haven't got the, time, the chance to join her course, but uh, many of my colleagues uh, already joined the course and uh, the feedback was... Uh, it's a very great course and uh, informative, easy to learn, easy to understand what they're talking about. So really recommend you guys to check that out if they are coming to your country or nearby so you can join them. So when it comes to social media, like I said, it's very powerful these days. You can pop a question and get an answer right away because there are a lot of people who want to share their knowledge all around the world. And the world is big, but the MR community is very small. So... You get to know a lot of good people, so please adapt what is useful for you and of course discard what is not. The thing about social media is a lot of people post different stuff and uh, a news, a hot news will go worldwide very fast. But uh, do not think of people who post stuff like, oh, why are they bragging about this image? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? Please turn, try to turn this all the way around like a positive way. Oh, he's posting a very cool image, a very good exam. How come I not get the same exam? And then you can try to dig deeper into this and try to figure out how they optimize the protocol, how they optimize the sequence, and maybe you can get the same image quality. Or maybe you already have a good protocol, but it's not the same quality as this guy was posting, and you get a new tips. Discussion leads to new tips, and then you can just suddenly get a much better protocol. So do not live in your own bubble, please. Be humble and uh, look worldwide because there's a lot of good people out there. And uh, we all got to learn from each other, right? So the last person I want to mention before we move on to different social media is uh, Luca. He's the one behind this uh, great book, which is uh, Artifacts and Technical Solution MR Diagnostic Imaging. Very humble guy as well. I've been talking to him uh, a few times, discussion MR artifacts. I learned a lot from him and also have uh, his book. You can get this book at uh, Amazon, so uh, both in English and Italiano. So check that out. All right, let's go from LinkedIn to YouTube. So YouTube, I'm following a few guys here, and one of them is uh, Dr. Christoph Agn. He's a radiologist, great one. He have a lot of informative 
MSK cases here and there's a lot of cool stuff to learn here and the video is just not that long it goes from 5 minutes to around 20 minutes and so on I really like MSK and uh, more MSK so if I learn more and I know more and if I know what the radiologists are looking for then it will be easy for me to optimize and adapt new stuff so we also have a book if you want to check that out this book here let's check that book Read MSK Radiology how to report more studies faster also recommend you guys to take a look at this book if you have the possibility to do that so there's one more thing inside this page this patreon let's check this out so in here you can select different membership you can see his video for free like here he has a lot of videos available here but he also has special videos for membership if you want to pay two dollars a month five or ten you get different access ten dollars you get access to my structure reporting templates inside the book of the speed so check this guy out he's very good in this game i've learned a lot from him and i also met him in personally so a very great guy humble and uh, yeah check him out whenever you're on youtube all right guys let's uh, go from youtube to different vendors i want to check ge first just gonna google here gmri so when new things comes up i really you know uh, interesting in what the other vendors as well even though i don't have this available at where i work but it's always cool to see what's up with new stuff here so here you can see the new 3t what they have available and 1.5 the different applications the upgrades the air coils the air coils are very cool i i got the chance to try it out when they when it came to Sweden, actually, I was very impressed with the air coils, even though I'm used to CMS equipment, but uh, this air coils really blow my mind. And the next one is uh, Philips. So these are the greatest uh, vendors. So it's, it's cool to you know, follow and see what's up, what's new, the difference vendors. So 3T 1.5, AMR guide therapy, there's a lot of cool here, scan wise, compressed sensing, and so on and so on. And the last thing I want to check is United Imaging because I saw them a few years ago at the RSNA, really got my curiosity on and just want to see where they are in the process of the scanners and stuff like that. So they have a 3T here. 3T here, ultra wide bore, Petamar, yeah. Check this one. Yeah, it's a lot of cool stuff here. So it's more like check if there's something new going on, and uh, yeah. So the th last thing I usually go to is because it's related to what I have at work, is the Magneton World. I guess you guys already know know uh, about Magneton World. In here, you can find a lot of cool stuff. So you have the protocol for the Lumina. Down here, you have the clinical corner the case studies, the different case studies, the different talks from the you know the the congresses, the application tips. Then you have a different protocol you can download for your scanner. Then you have the Magneton Flash, is the magazine. And you should go in here and check if there's something new when it comes to the case studies and the talks, application tips, because the tips, I hopefully I can test it out the next day at work. So uh, let's check the publications. So here you have the operator manuals, you have access to the different manuals. Let's check this one. So all you gotta do is you gotta log in, which I already did now. And then you have the different availability here, PDF here. You can just download, 
Magnet Flow and Artifacts is for free. Diffusion. So there's a lot of cool stuff here as well. So let's check this system manual, owner manual. I'm not, I don't have access to this one because you have to register your, your scan at the live net. Let's check this one. You see, I have to register my scanner to the live net so I can verify that I have this scanner. So they would then provide you the manuals. And one more thing I want to show you guys in the magnetum flash. Here you have the different editions. For free, just download. So let's check the RSNA. Because the one thing I want to mention to you guys in here is, is uh, usually when I go in here, I, the first thing I look at is uh, how I do it. I really like this one because this is the kind of stuff that, you know, we can try it out the next day. It's not work in progress stuff. It's just like something you can test it out. Let's check that, page 555. Yeah, how I do it. Clinical fMRI, where do I start? Pretty awesome. The thing about how I do it is that you, me, everyone can write our article and try to get it uh, posted in here in the, in the Magnetum Flash. I wrote uh, already two in, uh, in, my, in the past. The first time I wrote one it was very scary because I thought that, hey, I don't think people like what I'm writing here because it's so special. You know what? My mentor once told me that even though it's not that special for you, it might be useful for others. So never think of that as a, uh, hey, it's not special, just do it. Another thing is that, oh, I'm a little bit scared of writing, you know, academic English. But uh, the people behind Magneto Flash are very humble and very helpful. So uh, they helped a lot to make two of my publications available. And uh, just, if you have something in your mind, please share with others. Maybe you get into a discussion and you learn new stuff as well. Never be afraid of that. Just my words. All right, let's move to the last thing I want to show you. So I, you know, I saved the, the best for the last, which I find it's extremely interesting though. Let's go first here. It's PEP Siemens. So here, PEP Connect. Let's check that one. What you do in here is that you just log in first. It's also a Siemens uh, page. Let's log in and check it. So I'm already logged in here now. And you can search for a lot of stuff here. The last thing I searched was like the Delta list for the new software X820. Do you know what the Delta list is? No? Let me show you. Delta list is that more like the new, what's new on the newest software. What, what will be available for you when you have this software. So let's launch this. I will show you. This is very cool. So then what's, what's new, right? So I'm not going to go all the way on this PDF for you, but just to show you the MR fingerprinting, compressed sensing with the space, with the SEMA, the time of flight. So the MR fingerprinting is very, very interesting. And then you have the Zoomit Pro. What in the world is that? You can read more about that, that if you log in to check it out yourself. SMS Dixon. This is cool. This is what I've been waiting for. Resolve, SMS Resolve. Compress sensing with the space. The compressed sensing with the space here as well. Time of flight. Samark. There's a lot of cool stuff waiting for you. Software XA20A. Fat fraction maps for the diffusion. Go brain, go brain plus. Biomatrix body 18 with integrated beat sensor. And the space flame improvements. This is what we've all been waiting for, I guess. 
this artifact here. Uh, that's a lot of cool stuff in here. Check it out for yourself whenever you've got time. So let's check the other stuff here, like the Magnetum Solar Fit. Last time I checked this page was, yeah, how to upgrade the Magnetum Solar. There's a cool video in here. Yeah, you can see here how you can upgrade from a Magnetum Aero to a Magnetum Solar Fit. There's a video here. So you know what? Just lean back, find your popcorn and watch this. This is very, very cool. How awesome is this? So I'm just gonna stop there. You can log in and watch for yourself. And there's a lot of information to find here as well. So pep.siemensinfo.com Just register for free and log in and you can check it for yourself. today guys I hope you find this video valuable uh, interest and remember the social media they are so extremely powerful whenever uh, one of these group is posting new stuff it's like a matter of time where everything is spread widely until next time I see you around so peace out bye bye